Hello, Galaxy. Chris Perillo here, and I've got live.perillo.com up on this monitor. Plenty of people geeking out 24-7, programming, editing, playing video games, geeking out, and we do TLDR every night, so you should tune into that, live.perillo.com. Over here, Maker Deck, a virtual makerspace, and you can join that. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. I've got a few things on my desk to showcase, and starting with this one, it's an articulated print-in-place faker. I 3D printed this, and it worked really, really well. I'm trying to do another one, and you may uh, hear it here in a, in a tiny bit as I move closer to the uh, 3D printer. This is probably the most interesting thing I picked up this week. Organic salted black licorice, 70% dark chocolate vegan chocolate bar, a candy bar for 62 cents. I cannot stand black licorice. So here's the thing. At the end of this tour, I'm going to eat some, and you're going to see my face. You're going to see what it looks like when you eat one of those things. Ugh. This week's comic haul includes Star Wars Marvel 31, and this came in horrid condition. This is directly from Marvel. Like, <laughs> yikes. I'm glad I have digital copies available. We also have uh, Star Wars Bounty Hunters Marvel 31 there, The Coming Inferno with Vader, and Dr. Afra with our two favorite murder droids on the edge of, as edge of Ascendance. Then we have some vegan marshmallows, in case you were wondering. Yes, vegan marshmallows do exist. They're a little more gritty than the normal marshmallows, but they were on sale. These are maple flavored, and I've tried some. As you can see, the rest will be for the other two. Uh, I also got a free Dr. Evazon figure. This is an Entertainment Earth bonus. You just enter a code when you check out, and they'll send you a, a figure for free. And so, yeah, I got another one of these, because this is like the third one. Not that I needed more than one of now, I didn't show this, I think, in my uh, room tour, but this is also on my desk, and I'm pointing it out. This is a Thunderbolt 3 dock from OWC, and it's pretty much maxed out. And I'm almost at the point where I'm looking at getting a review unit for a Thunderbolt 4 dock and swapping that one out, if only for overhead, and I had some issues specifically with the display port uh, as connected to that monitor. So I don't know if it was the actual cable or specifically the display port port on that screen or potentially the dock itself. Things have been a little flaky as of late. So I'm going to likely be swapping that out. Expect to see that in a future desk tour. Uh, there's the Rode NT mini USB and I love this thing. It's what I, I use to move around on the desk when I'm you know needing to, to talk here on live.perillo.com. I had this out. Uh, this normally goes behind the monitor, uh, this desktop tripod, a Joby, uh, what do they call it, a Gorilla Pod. I love this thing because I was able to maneuver it and attach it to the keyboard tray underneath the uh, uh, underneath the desk here. Oh, there goes my mouse. Oops. Uh, but uh, I needed to get a, a, the, the good angle for doing a little um, a little short. If you watch the, uh, the Star Wars figure shorts that I've been uh, testing lately on Instagram and, and TikTok, um, I, I shot it here. It was just as easy to do. Uh, this is another thing that I finally successfully printed this week, uh, another snork. And uh, yes, because it's Saturday morning as of the time of this particular 8K video recording. This one turned out perfect or as perfect as could be expected in FDM. So I'm going to be printing uh, the, the remaining two models from Hex3D soon. Then I've also 3D printed a me. If, if case you wanted to have a Chris Perillo action figure, you can download that model for free on printables. A couple of other Star Wars figures there. From one of the boxes that I didn't open last week, I opened it now. Here, let me pull my finger out of focus. There we go. It's a Mandalorian on a speeder with a little Grogu, the tiniest Grogu likely in the world. Easter's around the corner, so they're starting to put out Easter stuff. I don't think we had this one, or at least Jedi said we didn't have this one. So uh, I got this one. It's full of jelly beans and, and stickers and other goodies inside. So eh, happy early Easter. Uh, I also wanted to pull this out because I used the Ulanzi, uh, uh, I guess you would call them lights, with a hot shoe on the bottom, if only for my little Glendan photo booth studio thing that I have right in the cubby hole with the uh, cable going down so I can uh, turn on the light but if I need an extra light this is really nice to use uh, and then have it positioned I actually have two of them there's the other one up there really really affordable you can even change the temperature uh, there are different modes that you can cycle through uh, different colors you can cycle through it's very very pow powerful charges by uh, USB type C and I I'll have to put a link for you in the video description because this is great I also uh, had a, a conversation earlier this week with a, a Twitch streamer who does electronic work with musical instruments, and I said, hey, oh, did you ever hear about the Tenorion? So I pulled out my Tenorion. It still works, kind of, 
But I found out that um, even though there were no batteries inside, there was corrosion in the uh, in the chambers for the batteries so i i need to to clean it out and i did i tried it i tested it it seems to work at a basic level but i need to get another chemical compound to kind of clean out some some of the the remaining um, um i guess corrosion the the and i i put vinegar in there but there's a another chemical or at least a product to get that might help get it the rest of the way but at at some point and hopefully next week the tenorion will absolutely be working 100 percent because that was expensive back in the day very rare Certainly. 2007, I think, is when it was. Yeah, 2007. It's been that long since uh, the, I had the Tenorion working. But if, if you didn't know anything about the Tenorion, go ahead and do a search for Tenorion in this channel, and you'd find the old videos I did. Uh, this week for LEGO, I got a Korg. See, I opened this. Remember last week, I, I said, oh, I, I need to get through that, and I did, finally. The Chitauri Warrior. We saw Ant-Man this week. That, that was pretty good. I guess, you know, some people did not like it. Uh, we've got Valkyrie. First Valkyrie. This is not my first Thor. It was my first Korg, though. Oh, look, look. It's all about audio today. Uh, Tenorion and, and, and Korg. Yeah, you, you get it? Uh, maybe if you knew anything about audio, you would get it. It's, it's funny. Uh, got this this week. This was made by uh, someone who is connected to one of our admins uh, and helpers for uh, Maker Deck. Uh, this is on like a, a this is metal. Like so, uh, one of our uh, uh, helpers, supporters, admins, uh, fix him dude mod. Uh, he uh, designed this, and then someone else uh, basically put it on this placard, and so I, I paid to get that done. The QR code there takes you directly to Maker Deck on Twitch. Thrifting wasn't great this week, but I did find this tin in relatively decent shape for about $4. I was surprised. It's clean inside. I'm not going to go ahead and open it, though, because that might be a, a bit of a trick. This finally arrived, Ghost Rider Marvel Legends, the 5 POA line that I've been collecting, the classic Kenner style. I haven't been cutting out the cards to explain the characters' backgrounds, and I should have, if only to remember the characters' names sometimes, because I didn't grow up with Marvel. But uh, this is one of the first Marvel Legends 5 POA figures that comes with an actual larger accessory, so I had to get it, if only for the Ghost Rider figure. It, this is the thing that I got to try to get some of this residue removed. It was the wrong thing, but it was pretty cheap. Five bucks, a rust stain remover by and large. I had used Magicka before to remove um, the uh, 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 residue or battery corro uh, corrosion. Um, I've also used vinegar in the past. Both might work. Uh, but anyway, I tried that. Didn't work. I'll hold on to it, if only because I'm sure there's plenty of rust around here that we could get rid of. Also 3D printed this week, Barf. This is a Wexter model. Didn't think you'd wake up this morning and see Barf, did you? Uh, then I got this box this week. There are new... Um, you try doing this with one hand. It's, it's not easy. It's like, what's the sound of one hand doing an 8K video? This is the sound of... Here, you know what? I could probably do this easier. There we go. Sliding out. Throwing that on the ground. Here we go. Bounty Collection. This is Lola, the droid. I don't know if they've done six of these. I think they've only done two or four. But these are two uh, figurines. From the Bounty Collection, they had done them previously for Grogu, but those finally came in. I also had this uh, on order. Don't ask me why. I mean, you could ask me why, because I love Phase 2 Clone Troopers. So they've got a magnet that's out. It's a bendable magnet. And so I figured, oh, yeah, why not? Because it's a Phase 2. Then I also got Villainous. This was 50% off on Amazon, if you caught that link that I tweeted out, if you follow me on Twitter. Uh, I didn't really post the link on Mastodon, though, because Mastodon's a little different. A little more sensitive with a lot of that stuff, but I might start experimenting with it. Wanted to get two, if only to open it, to get that special Darth Vader villain mover. That's nice. I'm not sure about half of these characters. I can see Kylo Ren. I can see General Grievous. But I'm not sure what the uh, the red and purple ones are, or one is. Okay, now I'm going to bring up the brightness here. Ooh, that's really bright. And show you that I do have the chocolate bar, that salted black licorice. Ugh. Uh, see, there's the faker that I'm printing. Okay. Oh, it stinks. It's salty. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Black licorice. I love you. I appreciate you. And at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices and may the force be with you always. We are typically talking tech 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.